Let's center something. For whatever reason, there are many times in Photoshop that you have text and an object maybe that you would like to uh, center in Photoshop. And you can drag these around. If you have your quick guides on, you can kind of get it centered here. But there's another pretty easy way to do it. First off, we're going to highlight both of our layers. So click on the layer that says Peace. And then we're going to hold Command or Control and click so we have both layers highlighted. Now we're basically just going to make a selection of the whole image. You can do that really easy by hitting Control or Command A and you have your whole image selected um, or the whole outline of the image. Once you have that selected, make sure you're on your Move tool, which in my case is in the top left hand corner. Click on the Move tool and then you'll see these options here for centering. So you can see this uh, would align both horizontal centers. So we'll click on that once and bam, right like that, the word piece and the object is both centered. But I've got something else that's really kind of cool to show you um, that I like even better than this. Here we have another image. And as you can see, this image really wouldn't benefit from having the words centered directly in the middle of the picture. And you can drag this around again and try to center it maybe over here on the left hand side. But check this out. Let's highlight both of these layers again. So we'll do it the same way that we've done it before. And now we take our selection tool. The, the, we're just going to take the rectangular marquee tool and we're going to draw a selection just around this portion, this left hand portion of the image. And now you can see the little marching ants there. We have the bounding box around just this portion of the image. And then when we go to the move tool, when we select center, it will center those within that space that we selected. So we could have selected this anywhere in the image and then you can center things just within that area. So I think that is a great benefit and something that I use on a regular basis, at least here in my business. In my photography business, sometimes we're designing elements with kids' names, so this is a great tool to use. Be watching for more Photoshop quick tips and tricks like this in the future. If you enjoy this type of content, then be sure and hit that subscribe button. When you do, tap the little bell icon next to it, that way you won't miss anything. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless. Green tea and honey, does anybody else like this?